we're talking about the fact that most people see what they expect to see, what they want to see, what they've been told to see, what conventional wisdom tells them to see, not what is right in front of them in his pristine condition. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You have a steel beam flying through the air, and it's dissolving as it flies through the air. It's turning to dust, and it's not hitting anything. The building was not smashed to bits. So that's why pulverizing doesn't describe it. No explosions, no heat, no flames. Vaporization implies high heat. You would have seen the whole building glowing. People would have been blinded by the light. It's very dense dust. It initially blocked out all of the sunlight. 100% sunlight, so it was pitch black. You come to the realization that these pieces of material are becoming dust. They're frothing up into dust as they fall. And if you watch some of these pieces, you can actually see them turning to dust before they hit the ground. It turns to dust. That's amazing. That is amazing. I mean, just like a Star Trek thing. It just, poof, it's gone. What we saw and what happened on 9-11 was something that we as the public had never seen before. What happened on 9-11, I believe today it was not a controlled demolition, it was not nanothermite, and it certainly was not the pancake effect of two planes hitting a building. There's a cluster of core columns that remains here. Watch what happens to them. They just faint. There's building seven, which is a 47 story building. It's like 650 feet tall, approximately. This has got to be over that. It physically disintegrates in front of your eyes, not concrete, but steel. You can see all of this is frothing up into dust. And it's also blowing downward. That's about 700 feet tall. If that thing tipped over, it would take out a few blocks worth of buildings. How's it going to go straight down? You got a 700 foot hole in the ground, dropping into? This video is a building seven. Notice it's one face and one face only that has this lather pouring out of it. If that's smoke, why is it one face, one face only from ground to roof? That does not look like a fire pouring out a window. It's basically not touched at all a few little fires in it. I mean, it, it was weird, it was bizarre. It blew out of one face of the building, one face of the building only, from bottom to top.
These windows are broken. If it was smoke from a fire and it really needed to get out, why isn't it coming out these windows? If there's a traffic jam, why does it take the path of least resistance? Notice it's spiraling around. And the wind that day was only like seven, eight miles per hour. It's not pushing out, it's being sucked out, it looks like. And that poured out of the building all afternoon for seven hours. That's a lot of material. So basically it was disintegrating from the inside. By 5.20 p.m. there wasn't enough mass left to slam to the ground. The walls were like an empty shell. I wonder how many people out there listening to us right now are just, just dumbfounded looking at each other. Here was these huge buildings that turned to dust in midair right in front of our faces on TV. Why did so few people see that? Because they were told to see a collapse, maybe? It does not fall within their learned parameters. Conventional wisdom kicks in, and it says that it's impossible to dustify a building. The buildings turn to dust before they even reach the ground. You can actually see this happening. You can watch any of the videos from the news channels. They all show the same thing. We thought we knew what we saw. A plane hitting the building should not turn the buildings into dust. We've got to start looking at this whole situation a lot differently than we have up until now. Free your mind. They just seem to crumble. This is not a theory, and it is not speculation. The proof is staring us right in our face. Can you call that a collapse? The building didn't burn up, nor did it slam to the ground, but turned into dust in midair. The 110-story tower disintegrated in just 10 seconds. It doesn't look like a controlled demolition or a pancake effect. It looks more like a total pulverization. And it just seems like it's like a waterfall effect where it's just dust is just accumulating and piling over on each other. That's not a collapse. And it's not an explosion. It's a building frothing up into powder. This is 110 stories of building turning to dust in 10 seconds. It just seems to turn into dust. The towers did not collapse. They did not collapse. They were turned to dust. The towers were not brought down, but instead were turned into dust. We don't have a word in our vocabulary that describes that. So I've invented a new word. Dustification. I kind of define it as the, the process of turning a solid structure into powder in midair. Dustified. There it goes. Wait a minute. That building's turning into dust in midair. Collapses don't do that. towers turned to dust, uh, they turned to dust before they hit the ground. 